Hey, what is up guys? It's what a pool guy here. I'm gonna be showing you guys basically what I carry to my pool routes. Um, all the tools, all the equipment that I would need. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, what I carry on my pool route is a vacuum head, a rubber mallet for the uh, screw on lids because they're a pain in the butt. Brushes, <clears throat> carry this kind of a brush and you know, I carry various of brushes with me. Um, also carry a vacuum hose with me. Leaf canister for any big leaves. I also carry this around. You know, this is what connects, attaches to your garden hose. Really easy. <clears throat> if there's a lot of leaves in the on the bottom of the pool and you don't feel like skimming it, get one of these from Home Depot. Really, really worth worth the money, saving you lots and lots of time. And you don't have to worry about clogging up the skimmer or the uh, vacuum lines. I also carry a pack out toolbox with me. This carries all my tools. I can, I'll literally show you what I carry on me. So I carry various of stuff with me. I carry plumber's tape, extra electrical comp components, wires, um, self tapping screws if I have to screw a sign in. Um, these are little. This is what you use for your, I would say, your watering in your yard. I also use, I actually also put these onto the, uh, the chlorinators to help control the, to, you know, for maintenance and stuff like that. I also carry ball valves like this half inch right here. I'm meant to get a threaded type instead of a plumbing type, so I'm just going to have to keep this on me uh, more, obviously. I also carry the speed stir made by Taylor Test Kit. Wrench, drill bits, more drill bits, pens, um, tape measure, uh, drain bladder to unclog the uh, main drain or the skimmer lines if they're clogged, or even the vacuum line. A bigger drain bladder, extra battery for my tools. I also have a reciprocating saw, a uh, clamp saw, whatever you call it, PVC cutter, whatever, however you guys say it. Also carry a bag of shark with me in case if I have to shark the pool. Another brush, sump pump, in case if I have to dry, um, drain the pool down for any reason, even if it's for an acid wash, coin wash, or to lower down these uh, TDS levels or even the cyanuric acid levels. Also plumbing, elbows, Chlorine tablets. Now, I go pick up and buy tablets from a pool store, and I do take it directly to my pool location. It's just easy that way. It saves me a lot of money and saves me a lot of time than having to, you know, go to each pool and put tablets, and I run out at the end of the week, then having to go back and then get more. Uh, summertime is now approaching, so it's going to be really hot out. So um, once it's a winter time, I don't have to worry about chlorine because it stays high anyways during the winter time so it doesn't and it's not getting used i also carry alkalinity up in case if my alkalinity drops shock now i keep this in my truck in case if i get to a route and it's cloudy or green or there's no coin i'll go and shock it and i'll of course add some tabs to it and i'll show you what i carry in my truck i carry respirator mask in case if i come in contact with the coordinator and there's a high pressure and a high uh, gas level so carry a clipboard. This keeps all the pool log records in there. Uh, so that way I can send a picture of them to the management company so I can get paid for it. I also carry my test kit. This is a Taylor K2005 kit. This carries everything that I need. And everything I need is chlorine. So R001, R002, pH, uh, cyanuric acid, um, also alkalinity and calcium hardness as well alkalinity i don't really test that often it doesn't really change i do test if there's any issues with the pool that i need to be concerned about so i need uh, calcium hardness i don't really test that often maybe once every two months but swim season's coming up so obviously gonna have to um obviously gonna have to do something i'm gonna have to test it every two weeks or every two months or every month actually i also carry a net to scan the 
the top of the surface of the pool. And I also do um, fountains as well, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, if you're looking to join the pool, come to the pool business industry, whether it's residential or commercial. Um, I do mainly commercial because it's easy. Um, I get paid a lot more for resi for com commercial than I did residential. You don't have to deal with customers. You don't have to deal with, you know, if you're afraid of dogs or anything like that, you don't have to deal with animals either, um, especially when it comes to commercial pools. Now, in, Ar in Arizona, for commercial, whether it's apartments, resorts, hotels, or anything like that, you do need a CPO to, in order to um, run the, in the uh, commercial industry. It is required that you do need a CPO. I don't have a CPO because I'm just cleaning, but if you're doing more than cleaning, you would need a CPO to be certified. Um, another thing too, if you're working, let's say a government job, whether it's for like the city, um, <clears throat> those, most of those pools have uh, chlorine gas, or I should say special type of chlorine that you would need a, to get fingerprinted through TSA and Homeland Security, making sure you don't have a history of terrorist threats or terrorist organizations. Um, other than that, if you're just starting out to clean, you don't really need that much. You only need a vacuum head, vacuum hose, vacuum pole, brushes, and a test kit, and chlorine and shock. That's about it. But if you're doing like maintenance stuff, you do need um, 